Thank you, Madam Speaker. And it's my first opportunity to join this debate today on a supply day motion under the name of the Honourable Member for Edmonton, Wisconsin. And I'd like to confirm that I will be voting for his motion. <laughs> and I would hope that the Honourable Member here for the Parliamentary Secretary, the Minister of Health, who I have to say I've enjoyed working with since he's taken his position. He's enormously accessible and helpful on a number of issues. But I am baffled. I, I, I simply don't understand why a national autism strategy was not in this year's budget. I know that's not in his wheelhouse. That's the Minister of Finance. But I have to say, as someone who approaches this issue and, and wants to see our, our new Liberal government do as well as possible, this was something that is widely supported. Canadians from coast to coast to coast, families dealing with family members with autis autism spectrum disorder need the help. And although he's the, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary is right, there's money in there for home care, there's a bit more money for disabled children, but it doesn't respond to the specific needs of the autism community. And I, 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 just, I have to say it's more of a comment than a question. I'm baffled. I, I, perhaps the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary can cast some light on when the government will provide a national autism strategy. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Minister of Health. Thank you, Madam Speaker. As I mentioned a couple of times, and I'd like to thank the Honourable Member from Sandwich Gulf Islands uh, for her uh, uh, comments. Uh, I uh, enjoy working with her as well. And on this issue, we're ready to work with all members in this House to see how we can better serve the community of those affected by ASD. And that's uh, exactly what we're doing when we support projects like that of the CINE Foundation, uh, like Autism Speaks Canada, as we do with the CIHR. Uh, to uh, invest in research. I think uh, that uh, we have uh, money, resources that have been deployed to support families and to invest in research to find a cure. And uh, right now we need to look at all the opportunities that are before us to ensure that we're working as effectively as possible within our jurisdiction with uh, various stakeholders uh, in the ASD community.